This is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and this is an excerpt from my video uh, shown above for installing the uh, Big Tree Tech SKR Mini E3 version 3 board on my Ender 3 V2. Uh, this is just the wiring instructions for using the original display in the board. Without uh, trying to use these connectors, these single DuPont connectors, and I found them difficult to work with, so I have this ribbon wire, which is 10 strands, same as uh, same as my display, and then I also have this connector kit, which has, and I can do two rows of five. So I'm going to try these and see if these work a little bit better. I'm also going to take this cord and basically. Uh, do both sides of it um, to go ahead and get things going. So what I'll do is I'll start off by taking about 18 inches and I'm just going to make a cut here. And so I have again about 18 inches and that should be enough to go from, yeah that's plenty of room when I compare it against my printer. So I'm going to start with that and then I'm basically just going to start peeling these wires. I'm going to leave, uh, leave them together in the middle so I can keep it organized but I want to go ahead and just peel these apart. And so I'll peel these apart and I'm going to give myself plenty of extra space here because I found in my initial run through I wound up having to cut these wires multiple times uh, to get this to work. It's not hard, it's just the, the connectors are hard to do. So I've done this end, and then I'll go ahead and do this end and just pull these apart. So, as I said, get the individual strands here. And this seems to be a little bit better quality wire than is on the display as well. And I'll put a link to what I'm using in the video description. So I have both ends now frayed, so that way I can work with. And then I just left the middle uh, like that, so I can uh, again keep that neat. Let me switch over, and I'll start putting on the connectors. To start off with, I'm going to use, I'm going to load all my reference material in my browser. So the first article I have is from GitHub, and this GitHub article they have uh, some wiring diagrams in order to make the display wires work. Um, this is pretty good, but I also found this article from Smith 3D that has uh, it has the the GitHub information but then also if I scroll down it has the wiring exactly as it is with the current display wire and I want to go ahead and use that because if somebody needs to use their actual display wire I think it's easier to use exactly the colors you have. Now looking at this you're only going to need eight wires um, and so in this diagram they're not using blue or yellow so we won't even bother connecting blue and yellow. Now if I switch over to my desktop cam, I have my two five connectors for each side. I have some uh, the metal connectors here, my uh, crimping tool, and let's go ahead and get started. To start off, I went ahead and put little X's on these two connectors. These are each going to be my bottom row. This one will be my uh, one going into the board. This will be the one going into the display, or better yet, this will be uh, board, this will be display. That way it's lined up exactly as I have um, the board and the display. So this is going to be the bottom row. There we go. Okay, so both of these will be this bottom row here. And like I said I, I prefer to mark everything up just so I can see it. So I'm going to start off with the board 
connections. So uh, I'll start with the board connections and that'll be uh, these right here. So here's the first that I'll clip for the wire. And I guess even before I do that, I need to strip the wire. So I have my wire stripper here. I'm going to start with the white wire. Let me see if I can do a dual cam here. Okay. So I've gone ahead and stripped the wire here. And I have my cameras all set up. So in the top left, I have the display wire the wiring diagram and then my uh, cam or uh, my desk so here's the uh, metal rim. so I'm going to go ahead and put this in 1.6 I'm barely going to hold that in I want to make sure that the first wings the smaller wings are within the actual crimp and I'm going to slip the white wire in Push them as far as it'll go and crimp it. That's holding the wire in. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the back wings and I'll slip that into the 1.9 on the crimping tool. First, I'll push the wings shut a little bit. Okay. I'll slip that in 1.9 and those wings are actually holding down the casing so there we go now here's the uh, here's the first bottom I'm going to go ahead grab the wire like this and go ahead and slip it in I want to push that in as far as it'll go. And that looks all right. So now that's that first white wire. So now I'm going to do the purple wire. So let's grab the purple wire. Wire. I'm going to go ahead and strip it. Give the end a couple of twists. Again, just grab my push this into 1.6. And I'm just holding that in. And I'll go ahead and slip the purple wire in, crimp it. Again, I'm going to push those two back wings closed a little bit. Just put those in 1.9, push them closed. And then, again, according to the wire diagram, I'm just going to push this in the second hole. Again, just want to make sure this goes in as far as possible. That looks good. Then we're doing the green wire. And I'll go ahead and wire this whole bottom and just come back and show you the results. Okay, so I have the bottom row uh, done that goes into the uh, board. So it's white, purple, green, orange, and then brown. So I have that done. And since I'm Working on the board, I'm going to go ahead and do the top of the board. And so I have my piece that's not marked here, and I'll go ahead and do the top. So I'm going to start off at the top with the black wire. I'll stay on camera to do this. So I'm again just going to strip this. I've stripped the wire. Again, about the three millimeters. Grab the piece of metal to hold the wire. The actual crimp. 
And I'm trying right now to do this on 1.3 just to see how that goes. I'm holding it loosely in there. And I can get the black wire out. Another black wire. Another little twist. I'll go ahead and put that through the crimp. Let's hold that in place. Do these back wires. I mean the back wings. Push that down. Good. Hopefully that's good enough. I'm going to put this in line with the white. So it's going in this first slot here. So there we go. And so I'll go ahead and continue wiring this. And this is only going to have three wires in it, the red and the gray. Now I'm just going to point out on this top set of wiring for the board, I'm going to skip two holes and go right to red. So again, only eight of the ten wires are being used. So blue and yellow, I'm not even going to expose any wires there. So I'm going to skip the next two holes here. So I'm going to skip two holes and then right here at the end will be the red. And I'll stay on camera. Again, cut the wire and strip it. Go ahead and push that through. Two end wings a little bit. Put those in and crimp those down. There we go. And then we'll just push that in this last hole. There we go. So now I have the bottom row and the top row for the board complete with the two extra wires here. So I'm going to go ahead and put that aside. And I have my marked bottom piece right here, the X on it. So that's going to be the bottom row on the display. And then this one will be the top row. So I'll go ahead and get this started. So, so the bottom row on the display is starting with the white wire. So I'll strip that, twist it. Again, about three millimeters. Start with the crimp. And I'll insert the white wire in. Initial crimp. Then I'll push the back wings closed a little bit. And then I'll crimp those down. Now I'm taking the bottom piece here, which again is marked. I'm going to go ahead and insert the white piece in here. Make sure it goes all the way in. The white's there. And then following the diagram, I'm going to do the purple opera. I'll do those off camera and just come back and show you the results. Okay, so I have the bottom piece on, and you'll notice I left the last hole empty and that matches the diagram. 
So now I'm just going to go ahead and do the top row and keep in mind we won't be using the yellow and the blue wires. So I'll just go ahead and get started and I'll do that off camera. Okay, so I have both the top and bottom row done. The top row on the display is black, gray, red, and green with the last hole being empty. And again, we're not using the blue and the yellow. So now um, I just want to make sure this end I'll hold over here is the um, goes to the board. Let me clean up my work area and then move my printer back over here and I'll wire it up and show you that. So I realize it's a little bit of a weird angle, but I wanted to be able to show the display port up here. Let's see if I can get my light in there a little bit better. So there's the display port. And then the wire needs to come down here and route over through here to the display. So let me just start by making sure I have the this wire with the two end pieces and covered is the display side. So let's go ahead and just wrap this in. There we go. So that's through. And then this side is the display. And looking at the diagrams, let's see if we can look at the diagram we need to put. The black side needs to be on the left at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. That's plugged in. And then white should be on the bottom row with white all the way to the left I mean the right and so I'm going to try to plug this in securely okay so both of those are in and then we'll go over here and I'm just going to leave this loose and let me go ahead and move put the case back on and I'm going to go ahead and put the bottom of the case back on, put on the fan, and then I'll move it back over, flash it, and we'll see if we're working. Now I'm looking at the wire diagram for uh, the display. White's on the bottom, black's on the top. White's to the far right, black to the far right. I'm um, now, I know something a little tricky here. In the diagram, the connection is actually upside down. So I'm just going to hold the display upside down and I'm going to plug it in like this. So white on the bottom all the way to the right. Black top all the way to the right. That's one there. And so that's installed. So now let's go ahead and mess with the firmware. If you have any questions about wiring the original uh, Ender 3v2 board to the Big Tree Tech SKR Mini E3 version 3 board, please feel free to post them in the comments. Thanks for your time.